So it's about 9.30 and I'm going to take Trudy out for a walk. This is something I wasn't able to do when I was at nearing the end of my kidney failure and then when I started dialysis. So I didn't get Trudy, she's right down here, until August of last year and I started dialysis in December. So it took that long to feel really like I had enough energy to get a dog. I really enjoy walking and I have some anxiety. So it's really nice to have a dog because now I'm not so afraid to go out by myself and walk. The funny thing is, as I was never ever going to get a pit bull because I'd heard such um, awful things about them. But then when I saw Trudy at the animal shelter, I just, I just knew she was the dog for me. And she definitely has some pit bull in her. She, she looks like an American bulldog, but there's definitely some pit bull. But she is the sweetest, kindest little thing. When we first got her, she had no idea what a leash was or her name or anything. So we've been working on keeping the leash nice and loose. We're gonna head out for a walk. Um, I don't always, we try to walk her twice a day, but it's not always me who walks her. I've got my kids and my husband who will help out. But today I feel like I have enough energy. It's a sunny day and it's just, it's gonna be nice. Right here so is where I've had my garden before. You can see last year I didn't. It's all kind of overgrown. And the way we got down to it is over here. There's a little path. We go down, down the little path, and around. We made a little bridge here, and it's just, it's just too much work. And um, I'm trying to figure out how to have a garden because it makes me really happy, and I just don't have enough energy for it. See all this honeysuckle? It smells so good here. I think I noticed these things more after having gone through kidney failure. I've learned to notice the little things and to not take things for granted. So I'm back from my walk and I kept thinking about my garden and what I said before about like not putting things off. So I've got to find a solution to somehow have a garden because that brings me a lot of joy so every time I walk by and I see our you know our empty garden I'm, I'm like oh how, how can I get a garden I'm here in the repair room of our music store and it's just a little after 12 and I came in and dropped off Jim's lunch and I have some extra time so I'm going to clean this full-size violin. It's come in for the summer after somebody has rented it over the school year and I'm going to clean it and get it all ready to go back out in the fall. So I'm not always this busy and I don't always get all this stuff done that I'm showing on this video but I'm trying to keep my day interesting. So just make sure you keep that in mind that um, you may not have this much energy and I don't always have this much energy to be able to do all these things to walk the dog to prep instruments and later to teach lessons So once I get the instrument all clean and I check everything, make sure the bridge is straight, I like to play check it to make sure that the student can get the most out of the instrument. So I'm classically trained, so usually when I play check, I like to fiddle around and play a fiddling tune. I play it I have to wipe it back down to get all my fingerprints off of it. 
I'm back in the car. I'm going to head home and then I'm going to head up to our other location to teach some private lessons and I will be done about 8 o'clock and I'll get home about 8.30 and by then I'm probably going to be exhausted and I'll probably put myself to bed extra early tonight. I'm done teaching. I'm back home now and I am exhausted. Just filming for this video took up a lot more time than I thought and um, I'm ready to actually to go to bed. The lessons ended earlier today because it's summer and not all of my students are in town. I had Jim get my um, cycler all ready and prepped so I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna put on my PJs I'm gonna enjoy my family for a little bit before I put myself to bed so ideally I set up my cycler at 9 30 and I started at 10 but that's that's the ideal is to start at 10 and get up at 6 but that that doesn't happen I usually am hooked up and ready in bed by 9 o'clock or 9 30 and I don't get up right at six when the cyclers finished it's more like um eight o'clock nine o'clock it depends on how much energy i have i do feel a lot better being on dialysis but it's you know i still have kidney failure and i still don't have the energy that i would like to have and i i'm not very good at asking for help especially after having gone through kidney failure and needing a lot of help and support. And now that I'm on dialysis, it's harder for me to ask for the help that I need because I feel like, okay, now that I'm a little bit better, I should push through and do these extra things. And I'm sure people are tired of me asking for help. So that is something that I want to do better at delegating things so that I am not using my energy just to you know do my every day to day thing and have save some energy to do those things that I really enjoy and like like having my garden um, practicing my viola for me and not for lessons I like to paint so I would like to find more time to do that so that's kind of my goal I hope this video was helpful I'm not sure if it is for other people but um it was kind of fun making it and and noticing all the beautiful things on my walk so thanks for watching